Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded a video after the maiden flight of the A380, which was a great success. I should have taken maybe a day off or something, but uh, I went to work immediately after that planning and designing the new project. So I will be building a Honda Jet, as you can see from the video title. And I also posted a picture on Instagram a while ago, if you follow me there. So it's gonna be a Honda Jet 1 to 4 scale, which is really big. And of course, as the usual, I will be using and uh, trying new materials. And this time I will be experimenting with the honeycomb. It's a sandwich material that goes uh, on the skin. Uh, it's very light and it gives us great uh, strength to the whole structure. So I'm so excited to try all that. Um, let's get to work. So as the usual, these are 3D printed molds. Each one took around a week of printing on two large 3D printers. I skipped uh, all the sanding and, and the primer and, and all that because this took forever. So here I'm about to try the honeycomb for the first time. And uh, of course I did my research and I looked online to see if someone does it at this scale. But I only found uh, people do it with a small like board, sandwich board or on small uh, model airplanes. So the first step is going to be the first layer which is the top skin. And here I'll be using 80 grams per square meter fiberglass. I'll let that cure. Of course I add bead ply so I can bead it later and I have a great surface for the second layer to bond. The second step is going to be the honeycomb. Of course stick it on the skin, vacuum it, then take it out of the vacuum, then add the third layer which is the inner skin and that's going to be 160 grams per square meter fiberglass and I will add some carbon fiber on the wing box to reinforce that area. And of course once again all of it goes inside the vacuum. So this is the first piece came out of the mold, uh, it's good, it's not the best of course, but it's good for, for the first try, I consider that uh, job well done. Uh, here this white, these are the microspheres mixed with the epoxy and the most important thing of course that the honeycomb has a good bond on both surfaces and 
to confirm that just press on it and it's super solid i'm loving this so much and just a comparison this area here i kept without honeycomb because yeah i don't i don't need this part to be strong if i press here you see and the advantage of the honeycomb is you don't get this the skin is very strong and this means i don't need any bulkheads or ribs inside nothing which is amazing Look at this, 
this is looking so good and the honeycomb made everything super strong like fuselage is just amazing i don't need any ribs inside nothing it's gonna be just empty like this i'll add a base here for the nose gear and that's it this, the the wing spars are going to just connect through the fuselage and that will be it all right now let's prepare the molds for the tail and also cast the tail i will make it complete out of carbon fiber i don't need uh, honeycomb in there i would just because it has to have support and stuff like that so it would be just carbon without honeycomb all right let's get to work All right, and here is the left side of the tail. Uh, this was actually fast because I did not use any honeycomb. I don't need it. First of all, this is carbon, it's strong. And because I have this main spar with this bulkhead in here to support the whole thing. So we also added some structural support on, the, on this part in here. So I don't need any honeycomb. Anyways, these are the ribs in here. I just added just two. I don't, I wanna keep it light. And I add Kevlar so i will try to use kevlar hinge on the rudder usually we use like normal hinges three or four in here but i thought i want to try it like this in here and 
course, it's much lighter because there are uh, less uh, things in here. And so this one is looking good and uh, super clean. I did not use any vacuum in this one. So nice. Uh, there, there's always been holes, tiny bin holes, and that should be uh, fixed with primer. And here, two rods for the uh, rudder for the elevators. And so now I will cast the other side, and I will uh, glue that. And hopefully, I'll be done with the fuselage, which is a record time. All right. So this is the right side uh, of the tail is ready and this one is also ready and prepared. I put the wires in, uh, three here, two servos and I might put a light in here. And here is the other servo. I will have it now completely heading inside because I put the bush rod inside connected here and this one is reinforced with uh, carbon and the screw going here. So hopefully this would be a good idea because the center of rotation is not in the middle on this one, is here on this Kevlar. So this is technically, it should work. So everything will be hitting, which is awesome. I will just cut the hatch in here where it will be just like a cover where I can open it and install the servo. I mean, for now the servo is not installed. Uh, I will install it after I glue the tail. The lines of the rudder to cut are here. I drilled points on here. Uh, so when I close it, I can just connect those three points, one, two, three, for example. And from here, one point goes to the tip. And so I can just, you know, mark it from, from, from outside and then uh, send this for, for the rudder to work. All right, so this is ready. I'll mix some epoxy and um, glue the tail. All right. All right, this is done and it looks amazing. Of course, just uh, one bulkhead inside, which is more than enough. This one is connected to the main spar of the rudder. I will uh, just uh, put them together, see the whole fuselage assembled. And uh, yeah, it looks awesome. Three point six kilograms. That's around eight pounds, and this is honestly amazing. I love it. All right, I'm loving this. Uh, the fuselage is complete. Of course, I need to sand this whole thing, primer, sanding primer until I get it perfectly smooth for vinyl or maybe paint. I don't know. So here you see that this was the first cast, and this is the second one, 
and this one looks much better and that's because here I used uh, micro balloons and micro spheres mixed with uh, normal uh, casting resin. Uh, it works nice, It's everything is, is glued perfectly, but I tried and the second one, second cast, what I did here is I used the XCR coating resin, this is from Easy Composites. This coating resin is made for surface applications, which means like you put it on surface and you sand it. And what I found that this one is uh, much more sticky than the normal casting resin and it cures so fast. So what I did in here is I put, I glued the honeycomb using this one and I just had to put it for three hours under the vacuum and it was done. So after three hours, I could simply uh, proceed with the second layer of fiberglass and I think I will be using uh, this one uh, from now on to glue the honeycomb because it's simply perfect. The tail matched perfectly with the fuselage and this is just now with tape but the later I will add uh, four 13 millimeters carbon rods, one here, one here and two on the sides to mount the tail on the fuselage for transport. And this is here just the test piece of the engine nacelle. The Honda Jet uh, engines are mounted on the wings and this is just one layer of carbon with some honeycomb on the bylon and if you see this will be mounted on the wings of course and this follows the wing profile just like so i will get to this in a separate video hopefully soon all right i love this does it fit in the frame it's massive <laughs> all right i think that's enough for this video and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye